One thing about me, I love a good grocery store. If I travel to a foreign country, I'm going to check out a grocery store or three. Like, it's just gonna happen. Like, it is my favorite thing. It's always on my to-do list because I just love going to a grocery store and seeing what there's there, what, you know, they have to offer. I love not being able to understand what's on the packaging, what's, you know, written on the, 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 the plastic on the outside. And I'm always curious why other people are selecting things. Like, you know, why that, you know, grandma to the left of me has selected, like, five packets of that particular uh, thing or, you know, 10 jars uh, of a particular type of food. I'm always really curious because I'm like, mm, what is the food culture like in these countries, right? What is, you know, we see the restaurant life. That's easy to see. But what do people eat at home every single day? And that's where things get interesting. And also, I don't always have the funds to go to every single restaurant when I'm in like Rome or Berlin, etc. Sometimes you just go to the grocery store. You gotta go to the grocery store and get what they have there because oftentimes it is delicious. I don't think that's the word in French. Very important. So I am currently about to pop into one of my favorite places in France. It's one of my favorite grocery stores. When I first entered this grocery store, I was gobsmacked. I was just so fascinated by the concept that I was floored. I didn't plan on going here today. However, there's one in the corner. Well, there's one around the block from the other place that I wanted to check out. So here we go. So if you didn't notice by now, Picard is a frozen food grocery store. Yes, that is correct. It's a grocery store completely consecrated to frozen items. I remember the first time I walked into one of these and I was having an outer body experience. I walked into the place because I was curious from the outside and I was a bit cold. And as I walked around, I was like, why is everything here frozen? Legit, why is everything in here in one of those frozen containers that you find in <laughs> an auntie's home in the basement? As I started to explore Picard more and more, I realized that they really offered a diverse array of things. Like, they have so many things to offer, whether it's frozen meals for one or two or for an entire family or a nice array of desserts or even things from all around the world. As you can see here, here's a bunch of stuff to make smoothies. You can literally buy whole fruits frozen, right? If you want to make a mango smoothie, if you want to make a pineapple smoothie, the options are numerous. And honestly, one of the annoying things about living in Paris sometimes is that depending on your apartment, you might not have a full size freezer. And so I usually have a tiny freezer so I can't buy all of these things like I want to. So here we have what they offer in terms of waffles. And as you can see, this has a rating of a C, which is not that bad, I don't think. This is kind of like the American version of Ego My Lego. It's also cool that they have like mini baguettes and mini beignets. I freaking love beignets. It's one of my favorite things. Brioche feuillete. Honestly, I haven't tried that. And it has a bad score, but it does look tempting. This looks weird. I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little bit weird. But you know what? I am one for buttery <laughs> treats. I love buttery treats.
So in TikTok, French people always tell me to try Picard's croissants. And I still haven't done it. I plan on doing it. I promise. I promise. But apparently they're super good. And as you can see, the prices aren't that bad. Like $3.50 for six pain au chocolat. Uh, $3.90 for eight croissants au beurre. It's not too bad. And over here we have two baguettes for a euro five. Normally in a French boulangerie, a baguette costs about 85 cents to a euro. However, this is frozen, it's not fresh. And so obviously it makes sense that it's less expensive, but it's literally half the amount. So that's pretty impressive. As you can see, it's pretty empty today. There was legit myself and one other person here, basically at all times. So this is the bio section, and bio in French essentially means organic food. And so here you can find a medley of things. You can find frozen soup, frozen mushrooms, frozen french fries, frozen onions, frozen peas, really anything your hearts desire. I'm not sure what poêle à la Parisienne is, but it looks like sautéed vegetables done in a Parisian manner. Looks interesting. Here we have some more frozen fruit and it's bio this time. Oh, here we have frozen couscous. Now I've never seen frozen couscous. I don't know if it's a thing, but couscous is so easy to make. <laughs> this is funny to me. So over here we can find family sized dishes. And in this aisle, there were a bunch of lasagnas, which I thought was pretty cool because they had so many different flavors. This one has salmon and spinach. The one above it had sauteed vegetables and mozzarella. So I guess it's vegetarian friendly. And then over here we have a good old boulonnaise. Who doesn't like a boulonnaise? As you can see, it's not just French food. There's a real sense of diversity with the options that are offered here. You've got Italian, you've got, you've got Greek, you've got different countries in Asia, you've got, you know, the occasional American food themed week. It really does uh, vary the gamut. And that's what I like about Picard. Like I can literally try so many different things. And for a family sized dinner, it's not that expensive. It's like five, six euros. Imagine this can feed like four or five people depending on the tray. So over here we have La Cuisine Invasion. I don't really understand this title, but usually in this section, you're always going to find Asian food, whether it's Vietnamese or Korean or Chinese or from other countries in Asia. And I really love this section because I'm able to try so many different dishes and discover new favorites. And as you can see, the prices are what I deem to be quite affordable. Now, I do like to support my local Asian restaurant, uh, family owned business, et cetera, et cetera. However, sometimes when, you know, I'm running around and I don't have time to, to you know, go to a restaurant or just don't have the funds to go to a restaurant, I come here and I eat good and I eat very, very well. Here we can see a bit of the Mediterranean options, some of the Japanese options. Ooh, that looks really, really nice. So these plates called plus d'équilibre, if I'm saying that correctly, are the health food options. So as you can see, they have a score rating of A, whereas some of the other dishes had like a C or a D or B. However, they have an A. And I guess you wanna use these if you're trying to uh, eat healthier or adopt better eating habits. Are they any good? I don't know, I don't know, but they look friendly, they look appetizing. Too little, too veggie. Ooh, vegetarian couscous. At Picard, you can also find what some people call TV dinner meals. Basically, meals for one person to eat that you just microwave. In two minutes, it's done and you're ready to have a meal. These are great because you can actually microwave them in certain Picards. So if you're in a Picard that's by a university, like their Sorbonne, then they usually have a slew of microwaves for the students to come in, buy things, and leave or eat outside in the nearest park. And it's super cool. This is obviously my favorite part. It's the dessert section. Sometimes I come in here just for a dessert and I leave with nothing else. No meal, no veggies, <laughs> literally nothing, just the dessert. I recommend the New York cheesecake.
So here we have my favorite thing ever, pizza. As a New Yorker, I love pizza and it's hard to find pizza that I like here in Paris, I'm not gonna lie, but I do like frozen pizzas from Picard. My particular favorite is the fig gargonzola and ham pizza that you see up there at the top. It is so good. It is salty, sweet, and savory, all with the right mix. Yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video because I don't know if you heard that, but the sales lady there was like, you can't film here. So I was, I was done. Ciao. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.